Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South and pick things up where we left them off. In a pretty good state, actually. Honestly, seeing these numbers makes me feel real good every time we load back in uh, over these last handful of episodes. It really lets me know and feel like we've overcome a lot of those initial struggles that uh, we were facing playing on hard mode, which is really a great feeling. Uh, on the topic of great feelings, I just want to mention really quickly as well, I genuinely appreciate just the outpouring of support in the comments of last episode. Um, I was I was extremely concerned. I, I try not to get upset at a game when I'm playing it, um, when I'm playing it for the purposes of recording and stuff, because, you know, it, it can be a bit of a grind to watch, and uh, I was definitely losing it last session while I was recording, and uh, things weren't cooperating. So I just wanted to say really quickly, I appreciate not just uh, all the patience that y'all expressed in the comments, but also the, uh, well, the fact that <laughs> most of you were actually pretty cool about it, were pretty fine with it, uh, and I'm glad... I'm glad that you were entertained by my frustration as opposed to frustrated at my frustration. Um, and I'm not saying that sarcastically or anything. It is absolutely, uh, uh, it, it, it lets me, it, it makes me feel very comfortable knowing that um, <laughs> that was all right. Because I, I always try to check myself. I try, like I was saying earlier, I try not to get like too upset or anything like that. But sometimes, man, it's not easy. Uh, so it is It is good to know that y'all have my back like that, I guess, is, is, is a good way to put it. And that y'all understand where I was coming from. Um, but yeah, lots of struggles last session, but that's okay. It's all behind us. Well, oh, hold on. That's a, that's a lie. It's not all behind us, but but a lot of it is behind us. A lot of the... Uh, the, a lot of the worst parts are behind us. It's 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 resulted in some ugliness over here, but that'll be very quickly cleaned up. No big deal. Uh, it's resulted in some ugliness over here and over here, but we'll be sorting that out as well. No big deal. Um, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do, and I think the reality is that today's session actually will not have a time lapse. And that's not because it's only going to be management today, uh, but it's because we're going to have a lot of stuff... Uh, as far as beautification is concerned, that cannot be accomplished while the game accomplished, accomplished, words, uh, while the game is paused. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Just to be clear, I want to add some visual effects. Um, waterfalls, streaming water, things like that. All those kinds of things cannot be added when the game is paused because the visualization uh, isn't active when the game is paused, which is why we had the... Uh, Situation with Llama Lane, where the uh, the spitting water didn't end up working out, but I couldn't check myself while I was placing it because I did place it while we were paused, if you'll remember. Um, but anyway, uh, point being, I want to do a lot of that today um, across the board, and so we're going to do all that while unpaused because we have to. Um, so no time lapse today seems like almost a certainty. I just wanted to say that right off the bat because I know... Some of you are interested in watching time lapses specifically. Uh, it's also good to see that y'all liked the little uh, timestamp method I used last session. I will keep doing that moving forward as long as I remember to do it. Uh, but uh, but yeah, just wanted to get that out there. Now, before we actually hit play, though, um, because we will let time move forward. But before we do that, we have to make sure that our monkeys are not able to escape. And there's a, there's a couple of layers to this. Uh, for one, I mean, many of you brought up, and, and quite rightfully so, many of you brought up that uh, the monkeys really should not have access to the um, uh, to the food court space. Because it, 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 it <laughs> as fun as it might be, it really isn't good for their health or anything. Um, if they manage to get into um, into the food and whatnot, and, and as as much as we can tell people not to feed the animals and things like that, the reality is that if an animal like imagine being a vendor, imagine working at one of these stalls, and a monkey comes in and I don't know wants a donut, what are you gonna do about it? Like imagine being the vendor who has to deal with it, um, right? Or like what? It's your job on the line. Like, it's, you, you get what I mean, right? So, um, so that that's a good point. So I'm gonna try and build a sort of barrier type system to uh, avoid that awkwardness. Um, and again, still trying to use this kind of construction aesthetic and style that we developed last session. So we're gonna keep the the style there. Um, and I, I think it'll actually result in a pretty interesting looking 
scenario. What I was really hoping to do, and I might still be able to pull it off, is I, I, I might be able to build a lattice over top. Lots of lattices at Elite 2 South. I don't know why, but uh, I was hoping to build like a lattice on top because I feel like not only would it cast some gorgeous shadows, uh, but it would also allow the monkeys to, uh, you know, kind of kind of walk around and, and play in the space and, and enjoy it a bit more. Um, and I love that we don't really have to worry about money all that much anymore. God, it's such a liberating feeling, honestly. Just like being able to put down these things at $200, well, $230 a pop, and not having to worry about, uh, about suddenly going bankrupt when I hit play. What a feeling. What a feeling. Um, but yeah, so, so that's, th this is our opening act. Uh, what I will probably focus on, though, more than uh, than blocking the top section off today is in blocking escape routes off. Uh, that's that's my major concern with this uh, enclosure. And again, those of you that didn't watch Elite Zoo North, uh, just a heads up, and maybe you can call it a warning, but let's call it a heads up. Uh, I do like to push things uh, to their limits sometimes as far as uh, mechanics are concerned, as far as technical limitations are concerned. Uh, I feel like there's a certain element of fun to that. Uh, for an example, if you'd like to see an example, then when we added the orangutan at Elitsu North, that was a really interesting enclosure. It's still probably one of my uh, technically favorite enclosures, like as far as a technical execution is concerned. Uh, but it was it was difficult to get working. It absolutely was. Uh, but when it worked, it felt great. Right when it finally worked as intended, um, very few very few feelings can can uh, can match that of 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 pulling off something that uh, that uh, feels almost impossible. Right, so uh, I, I do experiment with that stuff fairly often. I try to pace myself with that kind of experimentation because I also understand that it can get frustrating to watch at times when you know it's like an idea is uh, is seems to be halting progress um so so i do try to be mindful of that so y'all feel free to check me of course if i'm ever uh, getting lost if i can't see the forest for the trees as it were um feel free to call me out on that and that because that just helps me you know again check myself uh, before i you know proverbially wreck myself i suppose um so you can get up over here but you should be blocked off can't get up over there. They can use the stairs, which is going to be the problem, right? Because they're small monkeys. Um, so that's that's going to be a problem area, blocking them off. What I need to figure out is... They can't come up from over here because it's concrete. They can't climb that. Uh, they can, I guess, climb this stuff. Well, actually, hold on. A couple things I should do. Uh, there's a handful of things I should do before I forget. First of all, I need to find my monkey. Where there we go. Any one of these monkeys will do. That's our thumbnail star from uh, from last session. Uh, and let's see. So you can climb all this. That's fine. But you can't cross over from there, which is good. Okay. You're all good over here. You're good on all this stuff. You're good up over here. Yep. Excellent. 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 That's all good. Over here, you're fine. It hasn't calculated all this stuff, of course. So that's fine. Um. Yeah, as long as I can block off either the stairs down there or up here, we'll be fine. So, how do I want to go about doing this? The unfortunate thing is that guest habitat entrances look really kind of crummy. Like, they, they do this thing with the path where it, it makes it skinny. Um, and so I, I really don't like how that looks, which is why I want to avoid that. I don't necessarily want to use the elephant grass method uh, because while I have, while I appreciate its uh, ingenuity, uh, it did feel very gamey to me. Um, I want to try and avoid that, but I don't know, part of me wonders if I will be able to avoid that. Because they're able to obviously walk right through this stuff. They don't care about this. Um, I could, we could again head cannon. Uh, like turnstiles, right? Like that's uh, that's something we can do. Um, I, I I try to avoid guests clipping through spaces and things like that, but at times, like it, it's not what the game was meant to do. So I I have to you know bend my. Uh, it's a matter of I guess suspension of disbelief, right? I I have to accept 
that there are some things that um, simply must be imagined. And let me know if y'all are okay with that, because that does matter to me a lot. That I want to make sure that we're all on the same page when it comes to, again, suspension of disbelief and things like that. Um, I want to make sure we're all comfortable with the uh, the angle we're going with. And when I say all, I obviously mean, you know, like not literally every single person, but the majority. I also just realized that bamboo is climbable, so that's not an option. <laughs> I wish non-climbable was a checkbox. I don't want to see climbable. I want to see the exact opposite of climbable. Uh, maybe there's like a glass mm, version or something. These are all things that snap, unfortunately. I could do one of these, maybe. These are huge. My god, so much bigger than I thought they were. Nope, you're not appropriate. This, uh, that, that looks like a window, unfortunately. I was hoping it'd be like a glass piece that I could believe rotates. Um, what else could I use? This is a wall piece. What else could we use, actually? I could just build it out of wood, I suppose. I mean, that's always an option. Replace these pieces themselves as well, so it feels more like uh, an intentional construct. We do that kind of a thing. Let's go ahead and find some wood panels or posts. I guess post is the way to go. Indian sign post is a nice shape. We can drop you down to here. Oh, hold on a second. It is climbable. <laughs> Come on. Um, again, that's why I wish that non-climbable was a checkbox. You are not an appropriate decorative element at all. This works. But I don't know if they can... Ooh, I like this. I don't know if they can climb onto these, but... One way to find out, I guess. Well, not, not climb, but sorry, uh, jump over these. All right, let's see. Developing our own new uh, elements. It's all, it, it's it's actually, it, it's quite fun in its own way, building our own um, things like this, I find. Uh, like when we did the, um, the elevator. I thought that was quite fun. I don't want like the, I don't want like the fence or anything. I want like a metal pole. Just like a simple... Nothing too complicated. Pole. Like a cylinder. I mean, I could just straight up use these, but these are massive shapes, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty big. Not massive, but they are pretty big. There's got to be something. There's got to be something. That does not work for me at all. Um, <laughs> spending a little bit more time on this than I would have anticipated, I guess. But we have to block this off, right? We have to make sure that they can't uh, get out of here. This is also why I wish the game had um, scalable model pieces where you can kind of go in there and adjust the sizes individually, like any kind of 3D software. Um, it's going to let you go in there and, and, and fine tune and finesse these little elements. Because um, then I'd like just pick this up and just shrink it right down, right? But right now this is way too big. <laughs> way too big. I'm tempted to put chains down, but. I don't know about that. Actually, are the chains climbable? Let's just check real quick. They are not. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, I mean, I might just have to go with like a wooden, wooden shape here. Hmm. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Eh, wouldn't. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, it wouldn't be the end of the world. There are quite a few options. Yeah, I think that's what we'll have to do. It's funny to me the kind of things that um, have been thought of and the kind of things that haven't been thought of. It makes complete sense. You can't think of everything. That's impossible to do. Uh, but it is funny to look back at and, and think about. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have too many options here. All right, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We could go back. Uh, you can you can tell I'm not done yet. You can tell I'm not, like, haven't, haven't quite given up yet. Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay, hold on. One of these. Hmm. Alright, placeholder for now. Placeholder for now. I wonder actually now if I should just... You know what, this is kind of... Oh, I can't believe I'm going to do this. Can't believe I'm going to do this. Go ahead and rotate you like so. Yeah, it just makes the most sense. I'm sorry. 
I'm so sorry. Duplicate you, pull you down over here. Um, flip you up, make sure you're properly aligned here. Come on. Yeah, we're good. Good, cool. Close that, and, and the question just becomes joining this, I suppose. Or, you know what, we don't have to, again, we don't have to overcomplicate things. It's not actually functional, but I want to make sure we do enough so that we can pretend. Nah, you know what, I do want a piece there, but nothing's going to fit. Oh, here's what we can do. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Do that. And do that. So it's kind of like, it's a different shape, if you will. And then if I go ahead and group these guys together. Again, who knows if this will even work, right? <laughs> for, all, for all intents and purposes, uh, the monkeys could just be able to sneak out from underneath or above or whatever. Um, might need to might need to add like a second set of flags or whatever you want to call it. This uh, I, I buy this though. I, I think I buy this as a as a as a set of turnstiles. Oh, would you look at that? They fit relatively nicely. I just got to nudge them over a little bit. There we go. Pull them over this space properly. Oh, okay. All right. And I'm pretty sure guests are able to walk through. We'll find out basically right away. I'm probably going to have to hit play in a moment now. Um, let's get you one at a time. Uh, you, you can't duplicate multiple groups at the same time, so I have to do this one at a time. That's a little unfortunate. Not the end of the world. Try... Something like that, split the difference. I like that less, I prefer this. Sure, so hopefully now the animal can't get out over here. We'll, we'll find out when we hit play, but before we hit play, I wanna go ahead and get some education boards and stuff down. Do I wanna do something a little different? I think I do. We've done we've done this setup enough times, I think I wanna do something a little bit different. Uh, kind of fit the aesthetic a bit more. Let's go ahead and duplicate this for now, uh, just so we have it. We have all the parts we need. Pop you down over here. Terrible placement. I don't know why even. <laughs> there we go. Put you down over there. Go ahead and get rid of this. Go ahead and get rid of this. And what we can do is we still want to decorate this element. Even though we don't have to. Even though we don't have to. I like that level of customization. Nice to have. So let's go ahead and pull you over to here. Put you down there. Good stuff. And again, fear not. We will be hitting play very soon. It's not going to be a fully paused episode or anything like that. Or at least that's my intention. I hope it doesn't end up being a fully paused episode. That would be very unfortunate. Oh, there's a little capuchin. Go ahead and swap you out as well. And we're obviously not done over here either. Hopefully this will fit nicely here. Yes. Excellent. Right down the middle there. I wonder if we want the thinner one. Yeah, you know what? That might look a little bit nicer. Feel a little bit more appropriate, too. Go ahead and put you over a little bit. There's a few ways that you can attach um, bamboo to bamboo. One is, of course, you know, like you tie it with a rope. The other is you cut a circle hole into one piece, and then you slide another piece through it. And that's my preferred aesthetic, if you will. You'll see I kind of go for that fairly often. Um, I do like the rope look as well, but for me, the uh, the cut and... This is going to sound maybe a little strange, but when you, when you use this method, if I'm not mistaken, there's less waste going on because you don't have, like, rope and stuff as well. Now, again, that's all biodegradable materials and things like that, but uh, for me, it's a, it's a nice extra touch. It's like packaging. I like packaging that doesn't use any adhesives. You can find them. They're very rare, but uh, I think it's super cool when, when there's packaging that only uses, I mean, uh, pressure to, uh, to seal itself. Um, obviously, you can't do that for, for things that need to have a, a seal, like a proper you know marker so you know it hasn't been broken or whatever, like, a, like food or, I don't know, like 
that kind of stuff, makeup or whatever. Uh, but when 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 people can do it, I think it's pretty neat. Uh, I don't know why I went on that tangent, but I did. I'm gonna stop now. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get these last couple pieces in on the topic of wastefulness. There we go. Pop you over here. A near perfect fit. Oh yeah, that's actually great. Over there and over here. So it actually feels like it's kind of like being held in place, I suppose. Yep, cool. You know what? I, I, I really like that, actually. I really quite like that. And doing all that reminded me, it was mentioned in the comments as well, so again, thank you. And I do want to mention, again, as always, folks, um, if you're enjoying the series and you'd like to see continue, please do not hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make such a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. Again, you know, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it, changes we make as we go along makes a huge difference. And actually, as we put Becky Jones in to research the... You know what, actually? I feel like... I feel like Becky Jones has had the opportunity to research quite a few... Um, quite a few animals. So why don't we... Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Why don't we go ahead and give a Brandy Lee here a go at it? You know, swap it out a little bit. But anyway, uh, seeing the staff names reminds me I have received a flood of requests for, uh, for more staff names um, that came in sort of after that first episode. Uh... No worries, but just to keep things organized on my end, I will be getting those new names in uh, at the top of next month when I, like, I try to do it once a month, so it doesn't, um, initially it was taking over a lot of the episodes when I, when I first started doing it, uh, but I try to do it once a month, so I will be doing that um, at the top of the next month. Uh, on top of that, I also want to mention that I have received all of your sponsorship requests as well, like for animals you want to sponsor. Just haven't had the chance to get around to integrating those yet. Uh, but I'll probably do it next session. I want to do it because I haven't gone around with for that uh, this month. So I will be doing it this month. Uh, I'm thinking next session we should be able to. Um, I've already I've got a I've got a bunch of names. Some have asked to sponsor animals that aren't in yet. That's cool too. I I will kindly ask you to remind me uh, when those animals get added in uh, if I need reminding. Um, but I do have my little notepad document where I note everyone's requests and stuff down. So shouldn't be necessary. But just just in case, just in case. Uh, I am not infallible. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I will be doing that maybe next session, maybe the session after that. And, uh, and I mean, those of you that don't know will hopefully find out soon why it's such a quote-unquote big deal to me. I do like to integrate them nicely and stuff and make them feel like part of the entire gameplay experience, uh, which is why I'm like, I don't want to, like, rush it or anything like that. I want to give it the time of day it deserves uh, for many reasons, one of those reasons being, obviously, it is a part of our zoo, and it should feel as integrated as, uh, you know, as, as anything else we try to do. Mm, where do I put this piece down? Maybe up over here? Just a little off to the side. So people can watch, you know, if, if the monkeys are playing, people can watch that properly. Uh, anyway, yeah, so just to repeat myself, because that's how we do it around these parts. Uh, I've received all of your staff name requests. I will be implementing them top of next month. I've received all of your animal sponsorship requests. I will be implementing them during a time lapse later on this month, either in the next session or perhaps a session after that at the latest. Okay, education has been covered. We've got a couple of donation bins up over there. Let's go ahead and get a donation bin down over here. Get a donation bin down over here. All right, let's move this one over to here. Let's go ahead and get another one over here. And I also want can't forget to put some education up over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to keep this thing up over here. We want to get the education up over here. Oh, the radius obviously shrinks as we go up. Still want to be very careful not to bother the guests. I guess I could put you down over here. Have to shrink it a little bit anyway, but. Mm, no, let's put you right at the edge. And let's cover this because otherwise it'll bother me. Cool. Go ahead and reduce the radius here. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and move you. New. Go ahead and move you. <laughs> Thank you. Down to, let's say, over here. I think it's a good space for, for people to come through. All right, so education is good. Donation bins, good. Oh, right, before I forget. Because I know I will. Because I kind of already did. But then I remembered. 
So did I really forget in the first place? Who knows? Um, do not feed. Do not feed, please. I understand it can be tempting because... I don't know, you just bought yourself a meal and... Now you want to get rid of it or something. But uh, don't do it. Don't do it. It's actually, um, every time I put down the do not feed signs, I remember uh, this park in Japan. Uh, Nara Park. This is the uh, deer park. And um, you basically, what you can do is you can buy these like crackers or whatever you want to call them. Cookies, I guess, if you will. Biscuits, uh, if that's your lingo. Um, you can buy them specifically for feeding the deer, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, and there's this like relationship that's been built, I guess, over the many, I don't know, decades, centuries, perhaps, uh, where they will actually um, bow if they want more. I believe it was. So like, if you give them some of the the, the cookie biscuit, whatever you want to call it, uh, and they want more of it, they will they will kind of like put their head down. I can't remember now if it's if it's a thank you or if it's uh it's if it's a give me more and uh, knowing most animals it's probably a give me more but uh, yeah I thought it was pretty neat it's like um, supposedly it's because of sort of like I mean learning from seeing seeing people bow when the food comes and then bowing to receive the food I guess I don't know I, I thought it was pretty neat and every time I put down these do not feed signs I remember that. Because, uh, of course, I saw people respectfully feeding the animal, you know, what they were supposed to. But I also saw people disrespectfully feeding them what they were not supposed to. And uh, I can't help but think of it every time. Every time. It's funny how we associate things with with other things. Um, Go ahead and line you up over here. There we go. That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Cool. I think that's, that gives us pretty good coverage, hopefully. Take a look here. If we look at security, yeah, like, <laughs> if somebody feeds an animal, let's say do not feed signs, yes, we're fine. The do not disturb should be okay, because these animals are pretty comfortable around humans, so we should be fine. Uh, but I will, uh, I will keep an eye out for it. And I would like to get a little bit more security going on over here. And uh, just for those of you asking, the plan absolutely is to um, further modify this uh, scaffolding and stuff. I want to give the, uh, the monkeys a lot more room to play, a lot more to kind of like run around with, run around in, and, and, and jump around with, and things like that. Um, planning a whole intricate scaffolding structure over here so it looks like people actually come up here to, you know, brush off the, the rocks and things like that. We're going to add vines. We're going to do a lot to this. This is not done yet. Um, we're just not going to be doing it today. As much as I, I know previously, last session, I said I was going to plan on, I was planning on doing that. But um, a, a slight change of plans, uh, many reasons why. One of the reasons being... I just want to see if everything's working fine before I, you know, <laughs> before things go wrong. Um, and, and I think that's a, that's a good good way to approach the session. All right. Almost ready to hit play. Just want to check a couple things. One of those being, hmm. It was suggested. It was suggested that the presence of these horizontal bars might be what's stopping the monkeys from being able to climb these sections. And I wonder if that is truly the case. And if it is, I wonder if I should preempt that over here or something like that. Um, but before we get into that, hold on. Before we get into that, let's go ahead and get... I guess I should group you guys. I always ungroup them later. Let's get you guys down over here. Yeah, sure, that works. And let's go ahead and get, um, oh. go ahead and get you out of there, over, mm. Here, I suppose. Still inconvenient to walk up those sides. You still have to kind of go through the turnstile. It's, yeah, again, it's mainly about stopping the animal, right? Uh, what if we just move these apart a little bit? That didn't work. Glad I checked before I uh, overcommitted. Do that. 
this kind of a thing. Cool. I think we're good to hit play. I think we're good to check if that worked. Again, lots more work to do, but we can do all that while we've uh, hit play and we're, we're making money. Education boards, feeding, hopefully blocking off all of their access routes. All right, cool. Go ahead, move Mercedes over. Down to here. And let's go ahead and unpause finally. Wow, feels good to unpause after all that. And very quickly now, we're going to check. Or it's too late. Reversible area. Yes, we have successfully blocked off everything, I think. Wonderful. Oh, man, that makes me so happy. See, this is this is what I mean, right? Like, was it easy? Well, I mean, in hindsight, yeah. Uh, was it uh, quick? No, you know, it took some time. It took some time to do. But was it worth it? I think so. I think so. Like, does that not feel great? Like, now we have this entire section. Uh, we've managed to keep it, you know, safe for the animals, not interacting with the food. I mean, what we could do... If we wanted to push our luck, we could put the gates up over here instead so that uh, the animal's able to come over here. That creates a bit more of an interactive experience, I suppose. It's an option. It's something to think about. It's an option. We'll, uh, we'll think about it. Let me know what you think. So again, what I'm proposing is... Oh man, it's so cool to see people like going, getting food and all that kind of stuff. Ah, God, I love this game. Uh, anyway, what I was getting at is that the monkeys would still be able to get up over here. And over here is where we would block them off so that they're not able to get to um, the vendors. Maybe we block them off over here and up there so they're not able to get to the uh, the, the picnic table either. I don't know, something to think about, something to think about. What, what happened over here? Why is this so broken? Hang on. All right, what? 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 All right, you know, I'm, I'm much better off just duplicating the... Uh, One of the other ones. Let's just make sure that I have just this selected. Yeah. Do indeed. Everyone's like, what's going on? This thing's floating in the air. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. There we go. Get you duplicated up over... This is so... <laughs> Widen the select. Yeah, there we go. Now. No. What are you selecting there? Oh, I see. I see. No, that doesn't make any sense. Something... Yeah, okay, it is this. But it also isn't. <laughs> there we go. That's done the trick. There we go. Okay, cool. That was weird. But, problem solved. Moving on. That did not select all the pieces, why not? Come on now. There we go. This is not the end of the world. After everything we dealt with last session, this is this is fine. There we go. Cool. Go ahead with this view. Down like so. Yeah, that's good. Gotta change the radius of this, obviously. There we go, otherwise guests will get upset. Stuff, good stuff. Go ahead and move you. Actually, I don't think we need this up over here. Oh, no. Okay, right. Of course, because there's a pair of them. We're fine. Uh, but we do need a donation bin. We've got this one up over here, but I'd rather have one over here as well. That was weird. They just kind of teleported away. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. Hi, monkey. You happy that we started capping off your space? He, he did not. He did, did not care for that pun. Just walking away. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you didn't take a crap right in front of me. Seeing how some of these animals treat me. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They're so fun. Back over here. Very happy with their space overall. So that's fantastic to see. Could use some more plants. Oh, absolutely. We we do need to do that. And I could temporarily put some down for for now. <laughs> this this man is losing his mind over the monkey. I don't blame him. <sighs> That's, that's me when I see cute animals, especially dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't help myself, and I don't intend to. Temperate and tropical. All right. So let's see. Let's go to our biomes here. Temperate, tropical. Um, oh, yeah, we can add can add some of these beauties. They're always fun. Go ahead and turn off the align to surface here. 
There we go. Just adds a little bit of green to the space, brings brings it to life. Um, now I've got that song stuck in my head. It's fantastic. Um, and continent, of course, South America. There we go. Beautiful. Oh yeah, we can do this kind of a thing, can't we? Where it's like... I don't know if I'd call this... Reclamation, per se. Kind of weird, it's like... It's a dig, but it's also got growths. I mean, it, you can explain it. <laughs> it's like archaeologists dug up to here. And then centuries later, they're like, I wonder what would happen if we go a few more feet that way. Lo and behold, giant temple. Um, okay, that's just one. Let's go ahead and put some more down. I like I like the uh, effect it has with like the uh, the roots and stuff hanging over the edge. Also, it makes sense for for trees to grow on this side with all the where all the water is and whatnot. Water, God, even that word just makes me twitch. <laughs> Oh, nah, I don't want to do that. Do I want more giant trees? I don't think so. A little bit more variety on, on on this would be nice, though. We'll add more as well. We'll add more as well, but for now... Experimenting with this. Nice little green space over here. These monkeys are loud, eh? They are quite loud. Coverage is not enough. Yeah, no surprise there. We'll have to add a few more. Let's let's make sure the, the animals are happy, right? That's kind of kind of a priority with a game like this, I would say. Just just a little bit, just a little bit. But do this kind of a thing. Works nicely. And then let's uh, maybe we do add a bigger one. Nahuat. Okay. Nahuat. I've been told is how it's actually pronounced. Nahuat. Um, I always thought the TL was like a like a not a click, but like a like a, a a very distinct sound uh that's what i've been told in the past uh and it could be that that person was mistaken or i i misunderstood them but it's it's one of those uh sounds that has always fascinated me because it's not a common one in um in uh in in other like language groups and things like that and that kind of stuff fascinates me i love that kind of stuff um so nahuatl nahuat is what i've been told or nahuat that doesn't sound right nahuat and then previously I've been told it's Nahuatl. And again, I can't do that TL sound properly. But, more importantly than my linguistic failings... We got a baby bear's tape here. <laughs> Which really is infinitely more important. They're so cute! They're so adorable! Look at the ear wiggles! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what what are your jeans like? Not too shabby. You know what? Those are really good jeans, actually. For for a beard's tapir, those are fantastic. This is probably an animal we'll put up for trading, um, because our our mom and dad here have some time left in them, plenty of time left in them, I think. So uh, so we'll see if we can't get some more you know, high quality results, and 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 we'll see what we do with that later. Oh, look at that! Look at the! Oh my god! I can't even! I'm losing it. They're so cute. They're so cute. Uh, Alright, so let's see. What else is there? We've got some trees down. I mean, I'm not entirely happy with how this is looking right now. Uh, need, a, need, a, need a lot more variety. Need need some more verticality as well. I don't like the Brazil nut tree because it's so massive. But the holly tree is nice. Oh yeah, it's actually quite nice. Mm. The catbok tree, they're also huge. Yeah, they're huge. I do like the holly tree. Let's... Uh, there's some of that. Holly tree over there, we could get one over here as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely something. Where's the animal? Oh, there we go. Having a drink. So loud. They're, they're a lot more loud than I thought. Okay, so we, we've hit their uh, requirements, and when we come through with our next time lapse, I will uh, fine-tune and finesse and and beautify this more appropriately. And actually, that reminds me, I was asked um, what I mean when I say beauty pass. My apologies, um, just assuming that uh, it's, like, common speak. It, it, it's absolutely not. That's on me. Uh, when I say beauty pass, I just mean I want to do a uh, once over, typically across a large chunk of the zoo, where I make a lot of adjustments to how things look. It's a, it's an, it's a purely aesthetic pass, non-functional, purely aesthetic, 
Uh, so, you know, adding decorative elements, moving vegetation around, uh, finishing off, you know, construction and things like that. Um, so when I say I want to do a beauty pass or I'm going to do X, Y, Z in a beauty pass, that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm getting at is, uh, is I'm going to do, uh, going to do a, a huge kind of once over of a bunch of parts of the zoo. This is so exciting. I'm so pleased with this space. And it was great reading your comments as well. Many of you seem to enjoy the idea and stuff as well. And the decorative elements we've got so far. Again, like I said, we're going to be doing more. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more. Um, but that's 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 for later. That's for next time. I think when we'll go and we'll do a, a huge time lapse and get a lot done. Oh man, their ball came down over here. Also, I was... Okay, so first of all, yes. We'll, we'll be finishing the capuchin enclosure next time. Um, and that's when I'm going to add like all, all, all the other stuff and and also just I just want to clarify when I when I made the Australian rule Australian rules football joke um last session uh, I, I was kidding I, I know this is not the type of football used in Australian Australian rules football uh just to be clear because I realized uh I wasn't I wasn't crystal um anyway we good here we're good here I thought we had a new baby I thought we had another baby here uh we did Hiya. Are you new? Oh, why do I vaguely recognize it? Wow, those are good stats. Dangerous animal escaped. Oh, well, that, uh... Oops. <laughs> Little baby. Always the babies. Always the babies. Alright, so let's figure this out. Let's go ahead and... I don't want to go about doing this, really. Well, okay, I know, I know some things I want to do. Let's go ahead... Uh, cause this is something I want to work on a little bit today. Is, uh, is the water stuff. It's part of the reason why I want to focus on, again, things that I can't do while paused. Um. Because I want to make these spaces feel a bit more realistic, if you will. I guess I could put vines down. I don't know if they can walk through vines. Uh, I do want to adjust the terrain here, though. Let's go ahead and push this up a little bit. There we go, make it a little bit more like, intentional looking almost, if you will. And then we can go ahead and get... Um, like, I can get the tree and like sh push it all the way down. So it just kinda... That doesn't work. Actually, you know, in some ways it does. Now, if you look close enough, it, it starts to break. And these palms down... Do that. Put our put our palm up, telling the animal to stop. Huh? God, that's terrible. I don't buy that. I don't buy that. And if I don't buy it, then how can I just go ahead with it? All right, let's try. Let's try the vines. Let's try the vines. Go ahead and get you down like so. You can raise this up. You can hear the people saying "aw" and stuff to the. Uh, new baby, which is fantastic. Alright, there we go. Let's put you up over here. Let's get uh, one of these. I need a longer one. One of you. There we go. Up over here. Uh, we, we have to like make this space a bit more green as well, so we'll, we'll be adding more things, but for now, I just want to check if you guys are able to. If you're not able to. You are a baby anteater. That's good. And the baby beards tape here. Ah, still able to get out there, eh? That's all you need, isn't it? That's all you need. Alright, fair enough. Life finds a way, doesn't it? The end of the world, not the end of the world. Go ahead and get... Uh, this is this is all part of the look anyway. Don't mind doing this. Just, I, I do hope that I can complete the plan over here today. And hopefully that'll help. Hopefully that's uh, steep enough that it stops them from escaping. Where, where did you go? There you are. Sneaky, aren't you? There we go. Blocked off. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. And while it's dark, I think I'm going to... Wow. Can't really see much. I do have to do a lighting pass as well, which is definitely in the books for in the very near future. Uh, all right. There we go. That, uh, had The camera's eyes had to adjust. I love that games have started doing that, where like your eyes adjust to like darkness and whatnot. Um, but sometimes it's kind of funny in how it's done, where like it mimics eyes as opposed to... Um, as opposed to a camera when it's supposed to be a camera. I don't know. It's a funny little uh, 
Not a complaint or an issue or anything, just, just funny. Vet research complete. Good stuff. That should help with education and stuff. We do have a couple of issues that I need to look into. I feel like some of our exhibit animals... Oh, no. Animals stressed. Why are you stressed? Hmm. As the crowds have gotten bigger, we put up the, uh... The do not disturb signs. That's not enough. So, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and give these guys some cover. I, I wanted to check that out first and see if, uh... If it would do the trick without us needing to, um... Build them, like, hiding spots, but... So be it. Let's get them some hiding spots. Let's go ahead and put down a bush over here. A little bit of screening goes a long way. Yeah. Let's do the same thing over here as well, right? Yeah, I don't like that. There we go, like that. And that should be enough for them to hide behind if uh, if things get a little stressful for them. Animal is hungry, animal is thirsty. Can we call the keeper over here, please? Thank you. And let's go ahead and take a look at what we've accomplished over here. Breed some species, good stuff. Go ahead and claim that. Education for the yellow anaconda needs to be up to 11%. See, this is uh, where things get kind of funny. Um, how can we further the education over here? Actually, on the topic of education, pointed out to me that maybe we do. Don't we already have the exotic pet trade over here? I, I remember making a friend's joke. Deforestation. There we go, we do. Yeah, <laughs> exotic pet trade is pretty important to um, to the capuchin, and the TV show Friends is a is a good example of it. Actually, the animal is hungry. Well, we've got this thing. Let's go ahead and get them. You know what? Let's uh, write. There was a lot of important stuff that we didn't finish putting down. I just realized. So we've got feeding stuff. Great. We also need to get you. Um, sure, let's go with a nice big feeding platform we can put down over here, off to the side a little bit. Again, they can eat without being disturbed by people, like not in the middle of their path or anything. They've got water already, so now they've got food, they've got water. They've got enrichment, they've got toy enrichment as well. Um... Yeah, I should. I, I completely uh, slipped my mind. Obviously, their uh, their social group is a problem, but I need to adopt some more. And I think I'll try and do that today. Uh, food, food, water. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, hard shelter. Actually, I didn't notice. I thought I saw that they were fine with the hard shelter they have, but I just want to make sure. What a cutie! What a cutie! Yeah, they've got enough hard shelter. Question is where? Where are you hiding? Under the trees? Under this canopy over here? Where where are you hiding? I wanna know so that I can build bedding appropriately for them. Um so I, I do want to figure that out. Capuchin nope, sorry. Looking at the wrong thing. I meant habitat. Here we go, capuchin. Go ahead and put some of these down, just the small ones. I hate that it flattens the train even when it's not checked. Put one down over here. There we go. And I can build little like constructs and stuff to make those uh, comfortable. I'm curious as to where they're finding their hard shelter right now, because I was stressing out thinking that I completely forgot to do that, but apparently not. Oh man, I missed... I missed December. I wanted to check... Uh, I wanted to check how the animals were doing. In terms of donations. Animal is severely dehydrated. And we get... Still connected over here. I don't know how these guests are over here watching. That's kind of creepy. Keeper is being requested. Protesters are coming. Where? Why? Why? Okay. Deeper, South America, high workload. Resting. Resting. I need more for South America. That much is 
player. For sure. We've got so many animals in South America. They've done that sooner. South America. I'm fine with all the responsibilities, that's okay. Hopefully they're gonna rush over. This is not good. This is not good. I don't want these animals dying on me. And send them to the trade center to be taken care of. Are you coming through to help these animals out? Are you just cleaning or are you going to feed them as well? There we go. Come on. Let's play it safe. Ajij is about to mature. We have to uh, put him in the trade center afterwards. Go ahead and bring you guys in here. Let them be properly fed and uh, watered, if you will, at um, at the uh, the trade center. Uh, okay, sorry. I keep uh, getting distracted. I, I wanted to get this done for so long. It's taken so long with all the other stuff. Not that, you know, not that that's a quote-unquote problem per se, but... Um, no, what's the... Uh, okay, do it this way. Water and special effects, cool. Just gotta get the right ones here, not the jets. This waterfall top will work fine. Gotta get enough of them down. So there is, oh yeah, rapids. I was like, what's the word? The word was escaping me. There we go. There we go, get those. Foam coming through. That feels right. Get the water splash as well. Gotta get this looking right. There we go. And now all of a sudden, it feels like water's actually coming through. And we can do that. To a pretty significant degree. And like kind of cover these spaces up. And and obviously do it more interestingly as well. We can add like a few more rocks here and there. Right. Add like for example, this is a quick example. If I do let's say this kind of a thing. Just for, I don't know, some style, if you will. I don't know if I quite like it, but just to show as an example. Like this kind of a thing. I I, I don't like that. Point being, we can, we can decorate this space so it feels a lot more uh, real, if you will. Feels a lot more, like, actually active. Um, let me just quickly check these alerts over here. We're fine. What is the problem over here? This has been a problem for a while as well. Oh no. Got a couple of infertile animals. Oh, I guess they're old. That's why. Uh, we can rehome them, but, um. Uh. Always lose a track of where the call keeper button is. There we go. Literally right there. Um. You would assume it to be under the maintenance section, but no. I need to get maybe more keepers. I also need to train up some of my keepers. There we go. Yeah, we, we, we should have got more South America keepers a lot sooner. It's such it's become such a busy space and we haven't uh, stayed on top of that. We're making so much money now, there's really no excuse not to uh, train some people up as well. There we go, train up these vendors too, make sure the guests are all happy and well taken care of. Good stuff. Reaching some of our first five star uh, five star vendors and, and stuff like that. Anyway, um, sorry. So that looks okay. Back on task over here. Yeah, so this this should really help it still feel like it's one um one section. I'll get you over here. But again, we have to be judicious with this because uh it can um affect the frame rate and things like that. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the waterfall. Um, top as well, because then we kind of get that like rushing feel.
So it's like some of the water's going underneath, some of it's like splashing over top, that kind of a thing. This brings the space to life a little bit. This is weird. Why are you... Why are you like this? <laughs> why are you like this? Now, many of you... Actually, before I get to that, let me just adjust this properly here. Okay. Go ahead and maybe rotate you a bit like so. Like so. It also raises a bit higher. That kind of a thing. Oh yeah, so it feels like it's kind of like coming through, again, like rushing through the top and, and the sides and stuff. Let's let's actually go ahead and see if I can't get uh, waterfall top. Yeah. There we go. Uh, so yeah, many of you were like offering your suggestions and thoughts as to like what the problem could have been. Uh, and I greatly appreciate that. Um, just to, uh, just one that I remember uh, that I'm almost certain it's not. Really, I can't be sure of anything. But one thing that I'm almost certain it's not is this. The, the, the game doesn't think of this as an obstruction. And you'll remember that we were able to put water everywhere if we like isolated sections except for here. So the problem was somewhere here. We got rid of the path. We got rid of everything. Uh, what I could have done maybe is get rid of more of the walkway over here. And maybe that would have done the trick. But you know what? I've, I've come to accept the circumstances we have. Uh, I don't mind them. It all looks like one piece, so it's fine, right? It's like it's not like it's the end of the world or anything. Um, the only thing is uh, I want to make sure that this stuff gets treated properly um, in terms of the decorative elements and whatnot uh, when the time comes. I want to make sure that uh, it's you know properly like blocked off. I want to make sure the space feels fine. And actually, uh, something to point out is I feel like for the longest time I've been implying that once we get the Jaguars, we're done with South America, and that's not the case at all. There's, there's, um, there are other South American, sorry, what am I? There are, not South American, not just South American, but South American Southern Hemisphere animals, uh, to include as well. Uh, for example, classic favorite from Elite Zoo North, the Galapagos Giant Tortoise, which, if I'm not mistaken, these islands go right down the middle of the, uh, the equator. Uh, so there are a couple of other animals as well, if I'm not mistaken, that fit the bill. Uh, I will have to go thoroughly through it, and if you recall anything that I don't, then feel free to let me know. Um, but yeah, there are, there are more animals that we need to, um, implement, not just the jaguars. Uh, with that said, oh, geez, these are good stats, man. I try to not pause. Okay, let's go ahead and send you to the Trade Center Kadek. Problem is that Ajij, with anybody else, would be inbreeding. Ratu. Really? It won't be? It's gotta be. No? Okay. Oh, right. No, no, no. no. Eloc is in here. That would be inbreeding. Who's got the better stats? He does. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she definitely does. So Ajij is gonna go to the trade center. Maybe release you to the wild. Good stats would be good to share with uh, with some other player. Sure. Let's put you in the trade center. Let's go back to animal trading. Back to animal storage. Back to Kadek. Bring buddy back. We can also keep a breeding pair, like two sets of breeding pairs, like because Ratu, we can bring Ratu back. She really doesn't have great genes, though, is the thing. Like, I'm better off, I think, pairing off Kadek and Eloc. I feel like that's the ideal pair there. Oh, Alright, there we go. <laughs> um, but, but, sorry, I, I just got distracted there because of the, um, the fighting. Yeah, so, we'll get the jaguars down over here. We have the tortoises to do as well. I, I'm pretty sure there are other animals that I'm just forgetting right now. Uh, so there is, there is more to this space than just, um, just the jaguars, um, for now. Now I do wonder if I want to maybe make this a little bit neater as well. I don't want to fiddle too much with paths today. Don't worry, I'm not, that's not the plan for the day. Um, but I just wanted to see if... I can't really. I was hoping we could connect these two. But we can't. And that's fine. We do this kind of a thing? No, we can't. Alright, cool. Let's just stick with what we had before. Not my favorite thing. We'll adjust this later. Uh, again, there's always room to, to come back and, and reinvestigate things, right? That's that. Now, I do also... 
I would really like to be able to get the staff to come on over here so they can go down this way rather than have to go up there for their breaks, go all the way around, come down over here. There's got to be a shortcut. There's got to be a better way. Um, if that means extending this, then I would like to investigate that as an option. And it came to me last night, as much as I'd like to say in a dream. It wasn't a dream. It would have been a nightmare. <laughs> but uh, no, I guess it wouldn't work. I was wondering about going around the back and seeing if we can't, um... Hmm. I have to get rid of this entire section here. There are options. There are options. I'm trying to figure out which ones I would be comfortable dealing with versus not. For all intents and purposes, I mean, this might be fine. What I might do as well is get another staff room and keep her hut down over here. So that we have multiples. That's also an option, right? Um, and then this one can help supply these areas as well, I suppose. Ah, oh, something, something to think about. Something to think about. It's definitely convenient to get down here from there. What about this space? What about this space? Going all the way around just doesn't make sense. Unless I can make. That's the thing. I don't think. I don't think in, uh, keepers and stuff are willing to go through one enclosure get to a different one. Anyway, uh, this is all done here. This is fine. I don't think we need more down the line. We've got like this little river cave thing going on. A little bridge that will stylize as well. Go past here. Yeah, that's fine. Do something to light this space up and, and decorate it as well. And up out over here. Okay, cool. 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 Please with that. Now, do I want to actually work on these as well right now? Maybe a little bit. Um, basically, the plan over here as well, as some of you have... Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but some of you have identified it at the very least. Uh, the plan over here is to have water coming from up top down into the, uh, the water over here. That, that That's kind of the plan. Uh, it'll actually take a fair bit of time to, to execute that. I don't think we have the time to do it today. So let me just quickly go ahead and adjust this. Um, so we don't have to look at this flickering. I, I was hoping to not have to do this, where I kind of split this from the group and have to nudge it. But unfortunately, there is really no other way to go about this. Out of there. I was like, what was that sound effect? It's I think it's the sound of like the um, the vendors making sales. Why is there a protest? What are you protesting? Where are you protesting? I didn't even I didn't get a notification for protesters, have I? Oh, there it is. Kadek is upset. Why is Kadek upset? Why are you upset, buddy? Space. Interesting. Something's gone wrong up there. Make sure there's enough room to move. Come on. No. Oh, sorry. Reversal area. Oh, that's weird. When did that happen? When did that happen, game? Why is this stuck here? I'm guessing it's the path above. Alright. If we can't... Do something about that. Come on. No. Alright, well, we'll have to maybe rework that. That's so weird. It was working previously. It's worked fine in the past. These kinds of things really kind of throw me off. It's just like, I didn't, I haven't changed anything. If anything, I moved this bush, but now I've moved it out. Hmm. All right, well, it is what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll sort that out another time, because I'll need to. I mean, I might have to just get rid of the path section and adjust it, but I'm really, I'm sure you understand, really not feeling like doing that right now. <laughs> really not feeling like doing that right now. 
Uh, we're good over here. Not so much. Gotta just get rid of this. There we go. Feels a lot better to do that. Over here, let's go ahead and sort you out as well. There we go. And last but not least, you. Done. And again, uh, just to point out again, still still work to do over here, folks. Uh, just I want to be crystal clear about uh, about that stuff that uh, there's still work to be done in uh, in all these things that we've quote unquote moved on from. Like I always say, right? Nothing's ever really complete. Wow. You kidding me? Five thousand, all from the giant ant eater alone. Man, these bears tapirs having a hard time competing, aren't they? Even with the babies, even with those cute little babies. Um, but okay, let's take a look at the Capuchin. Okay, okay, 963. 1200, not too shabby. 1000, okay. Hmm, so not our best animal. Not our best animal, but uh, that's okay. Oh, uh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to adopt more. Let's go ahead and do that really quickly right now. Raul. I gotta have a Raul. Just reminds me of... Real Madrid glory days. These aren't the greatest genes, but yeah, it's fine. And Francisca, Juanita. Ooh, actually, those are some good genes. Sure, Francisca. Let's go ahead and adopt you as well. Come on now. Come on now. Been seven, eight months of this game, and that's still a problem. Come on now. There we go. To quarantine. I said over to quarantine. Sometimes the clicks just don't want to be clicked. And then over in our stored animals, I need to I need to have a trade session soon. So Raul, let's go ahead and move you as well. There we go. Cool. And that way they'll go into quarantine and I'll get a notification sort of top of next session uh, reminding me to put them back in so we can uh, we can further populate the space because these, uh, part of the reason the donations are probably not coming through is because it is a large space and, uh, it's a large space with only a handful of animals. Did this monkey just do a scratch and sniff or a face palm? That's a scratch and sniff. Ah, fair enough. I mean, hey, you do you. Oh, okay. You're, uh, are you hungry? You are hungry. Interesting. I wonder if that animation is reserved for when uh, when they're hungry. Because, um, literally eating themselves. That's kind of funny. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, they're so cute. And just... The animation, the sounds they make. That llama habitat is continuing to be a problem, isn't it? Why is no one coming through to clean the space up? Um... You. Can I please get you? Expecting habitat 11. food. Okay, fine. I guess I can't stop. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Coming through. All right. I, maybe I just need some more cleaners then. Maybe I just need some more cleaners. More vet research completed. Good stuff. We'll get some more fun toys for the capuchin as well. And again, the extra education will help with uh, donations too, right? Kind of chilling here. Yeah, I guess they're just relaxing. Have they played this yet? I, I've never had the chance to see them play with the... Uh, Play the keyboard, as it were. You guys are really staying rather grounded, aren't they? I was hoping to see a lot more climbing today, but uh, but that's simply not the case. I n I also know I said I was going to um, bring in the new monkeys next session, but I was kind of hoping they'd be done quarantine today. And I can bring him in now. Just to add to the fun. Just to add to the fun. <laughs> it's just like... I don't know. Not having, oh, wow. Okay. 
That was a jump. Fair enough. Just went right over my head there. Also just doing nothing over here. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, they're really just chilling. No climbing, nothing. Food has arrived. Food should be arriving soon. We saw the keeper go to get it. Taking a nap. Can't blame you. Can't blame you. We get both of you. There we go. Excellent. Bring you in here. Now they're en route. Monkey's taking a nap. And uh, let's just say party see, party do. I'm going to take a little break as well. Folks, this is where we're going to call it a session. I uh, got a fair bit done. I, uh, getting this habitat up and running and secured is a huge, huge milestone, I would say. Uh, knowing that this functions, because now we can comfortably decorate it without having to worry about, you know, things going horribly wrong. Uh, and just getting the water and stuff looking... Again, I'll probably add some more. It doesn't look that great when it's paused, unfortunately. And I'll probably add some more effects as well to further simulate the the feeling we're going for. But just getting all this in here makes me feel a lot better about how this space looks uh, and our and our intent for for some of this stuff. But uh, but obviously, still still lots to do. I I am quite excited to see this area done. And then the question then becomes: Do we do Jaguar and then go to Africa? Or do we do some Africa, and then come back to Jaguar, and then go back and forth a little bit? Like, basically, it's either Jaguar, Africa, tortoises, Africa, something else, Af like back and forth, back and forth, now that we've kind of established ourselves almost at 100k. Or do we, uh, before we do the Jaguar, start the back and forth already, you know, finish the Capuchin, and then go to Africa and come back and start developing more than just one section of our zoo. Um... I don't know, something to think about. Curious to hear your thoughts, just like I'm curious to hear your thoughts about this session in its entirety. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. If you didn't enjoy it, let me know by leaving a comment down below and telling me why so I can improve the viewing experience. I do hope you enjoyed this session, though, of course. And of course, as always, I want to give a massive thanks to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.